love you, Irons. <laughs> the cheese. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, my name's Daisy and I've been catching up with at XWHU employee to find out the lowdown before our clash at St James's Park tomorrow. We couldn't be playing Newcastle at a better time at the moment. I mean, they've already lost both of their league games plus their cup game and they're looking really awful. Rafa Benitez hasn't signed the players that he wanted to and the rest of his team seems to be lacking in confidence at the moment. West Ham fan John Joe Shelby is suspended for the match and they have doubts over Yedlin, Gale and Lejuan. West Ham on the other hand are off the back of a clean sheet at Cheltenham but are still going to make changes to the side. And Arsovic, as we know, is suspended following that stupid red card against Southampton last weekend. Winston Reid had an injury that he picked up during training for the Saints game um, but they are hopeful that he'll be back for the Huddersfield game which will be really good. But other than these two, Billich has a fully fit squad to choose from so we may even see Lanzini play and Andy Carroll was likely to be on the bench. Billich did consider resting Declan Rice to protect him against all of the positive attention he's been receiving following his amazing performance against Cheltenham. I'd love Declan's play, but we will see. Uh, James Collins is also looking likely to keep his place following on from his impressive performance on his 34th birthday. Finally, once again, the away side will be fully sold out as the loyal West Ham faithful travel up to the tomb. Did I say tomb or town? <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. It's too good. I thought you said town. <laughs> no, it's too good. would too. Yeah. It's an important game for both sides. We've got to make sure we back the boys. Come on, you irons. <laughs> <laughs>